What you nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for One Piece chapter 900. Yes nerdigans, you heard me right. We're at the 900th chapter of One Piece. There is only one other manga that I am covering that has more chapters than One Piece and that would be Detective Conan which has over a thousand chapter so this is freaking crazy anyway last chapter of one piece wow i gotta say judge man you're a piece of shit you are a piece of shit but i like the i think the best part of last chapter uh was luffy's goddamn reaction and not only that just how just chip face reaction on top of that that was just fucking great and Man, at the end of the, at the very end of the chapter, one of my predictions came true. Well, we already have one of my other predictions came true, which was the uh, the Germa showing up. But my other one came true, which was the Fishman crew showed up. So, oh, day was made last week. Anyway, let's get to this chapter and see what happens next. And we have this beautiful uh, cover, and oh my God, it's. Gorgeous, we got, oh, oh God, it's so pretty. We got Luffy and Nami and uh, Chopper on the cover. Ooh. And yes, I know I need to start covering, um, uh, I need to get back to Robotics Laser Beam because I've, I've been hearing that a lot of, that it's not getting a lot of love and it's been really good, but I need to catch up on it before uh, I start covering that series again. And, um, I'm and I need to cat I need to finish uh, catching up on We Can't Study and then I'll start covering that one as well. Anyway, now let's get to uh, get to the chapter here. Oh, oh, this is so cute! Oh, this is so cute. We have this beautiful, beautiful color page too. Oda, you did a really, really nice job. Ooh, oh my God. Ooh, there's a one piece. Whoa, there's a one piece novel that's going on sale. That's nice, and the cover is going to be drawn by Oda. Ooh, this is this is beautiful. Okay, but anyway, let's get to this. Puffs Island, Big Mom's uh, Big Mom side, a real meal, and this chapter is titled Bad End Musical. And there we go. We got the nom 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 going on with Big Mom. She's just chomping this shit down. And man, I feel like I should have some Broadway music going on because for those that uh, you nerdigans that don't uh haven't been following me long enough you guys know how much I love i'm a huge music nerd i love like just about every genre of music including broadway i fucking love broadway musicals i really do it's, I, I know but anyway let's keep going here Ooh, here we go there's gulp that method will take the whole night won't it we don't have this, that sort of time. We'll, we'll bake it in two hours. Are you joking? It'll be fine. He's a true cook. Why are you grinning to yourself? Be more serious about this, Blackleg. Your ship and the lives of your crew, along with the lives of those on this country, are the, um, on the line right now, you know? Oops, I was just thinking about Big Mom calling this cake delicious with a delighted face. <laughs> this like ages ago and I don't know why I'm just thinking about this now but is it just me or does Sanji remind anyone else of Soma <laughs> of Shoko Geki no Soma I'm really starting to be convinced that Sanji is fucking Soma from Shoko Geki no Soma <laughs> he really is Sanji is like Sanji would do oh my god Sanji and Soma would be like best friends they totally would how lovely thinking about her delighted uh, thinking about her delighted face you don't you realize that your life is in danger and you know what I'm, I'm gonna include this like even Sa uh, Saiba like <laughs> even Saiba would be like best friends with Sanji to an extent here we go. 
Okay, here. So now we're gonna see, let's see if, um, see the effects of the cake. There we go. The deliciousness of the cake. Mama, is it the poison? Tri, tri, huff, huff. It's so good that I could die right now. So delicious and sweet. Oh my God, Oda, if you do a fugasm in here, a fugasm in this chapter, I'm gonna die laughing. Uh, trip, trip. This is it. The wedding cake. Can we have, uh, seriously, we need a Shokugeki between, uh, oh, you know who we really need a Shokugeki between? And I just realized it is I'd love to see one between uh, like Momo and uh, and Sanji in regards to like desserts. Oh my God, that'd be awesome. But no, we really need to see one between Sanji and Soma. I would love to see a Shokugeki between Sanji and Soma. Or fuck, I would love to see one between Tsukasa and uh, Sanji. Holy shit, now that, that would be some lit shit right there. Suesha, for the love of God, make this a crossover please make a shokugeki no soma and one piece crossover happen it needs to here we go all right um uh it worked looked like she stopped uh, rampaging look is mama regaining her senses chop 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 what about the poison there's no way they didn't put in um any in it it just didn't work on mama as expected these motherfuckers are in denial this is the best, the sweetness. I know I've tasted it somewhere before. What is this taste? Yummy! This is an announcement to all of the islands of um, Total Land Perrin. The damage will spread no further. Yes! Because of the efforts of the Charlotte family's 35th daughter, uh, Pudding, Mama's tantrum has ended. They will never know that uh, the work of Chiffon and Sanji, unfortunately, unless Pudding says something. I was so scared. It's going to be okay now. Thank goodness. I thought she would reach our island next, since ours is right next to uh, Kako Island. Kako uh, Island Backstreet. Lady Pudding was able to use that traitor chiffon and her chocolate to save Toto, uh, Toto Land um, admirably. That's amazing. Thank you for this. I expected no less from Lady Pudding. Thank you so much, Lady Pudding. No, it wasn't me. But it's just like, no, don't, she's like, no, it wasn't me at all. It was, it was Sanji. Like, you know, in a way, and I'm really, I swear to God, I am really feeling the Shoko, Shokugeki no Soma vibes, and I don't know why I didn't think about it sooner. Like, putting it away kind of reminds me, you could think of putting like as that arena type of girl. Like, even her past is very much like arena, but not, uh, then maybe, uh, no, I would say Arena's past is, Arena's past is really fucked up. Her father, uh, don't get me started on Zami, Zami's fucked up. But Chokugeki no Soma Nerdigans know exactly what I'm talking about here when I'm comparing Pudding to um, uh, Arena. But still, like, God, so, uh, uh, like, uh, especially, like, the interactions between Arena and Soma, and there's so much, like, putting in Sanji. It's just crazy. Oh, my God. I don't know why. Why? Oda, oh, no. did you do this on purpose? I'm very curious. Anyway, if you're curious what, uh, especially the Shokugeki no Soma uh, Nerdigans think about that. Anyway, let's get back to uh, the chapter here. If this video has a long runtime, I'm sorry. I'm really, like, geeking out because of... I, I, like, I don't know why it took me so long to realize this comparison, or like, not this comparison, this parallel to Shokugeki no Soma that Oda is do was doing, but God, like, ah, oh, I should have picked up on it sooner. Near Kako Island at sea. Hey, the ships aren't moving. The fishermen in the sea are, where are the sun pirates? Yeah, motherfucker, the sun pirates are here, bitch. Use this chance to sail straight ahead. There's a hole at the bottom of the ship. Um, Captain Jinbei, look, they made a path for us. We're uh, going to plow right through. Go, Jinbei. Thank you, everyone. <gasps> I'm not going to cry. I am not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. I knew the fishmen were gonna, I, I fucking called this shit. I knew the fishmen were gonna do something. I really am disappointed we didn't get
get to see uh, Reju versus Smoothie. I really, but maybe when we revisit, we'll see it. Well, but anyway, I see. They were also the ones who stopped the enemy uh, trackers from working. Why didn't I realize that before? They ended up helping, uh, helping me to the very end. I, I know, right? As expected of Jinbei's crew. Master Oven. Oh, Master, oh. Oh, Oda. You really want to change my mind about wanting me to see Saji versus Oven, eh? Is it all right over at Kakao Island? Just now, Brule brought us um, some drama effective bullets. Uh, it's only a matter of time now. Wait, what? Oh, no! Oh, shit, that is not good. Brule, you bastard! It's only a matter of time now. But more importantly, I can't uh, forgive that little kid who defeated uh, Katakuri. Thanks, you guys. Please take care of Jimbei Straw Hat. But all oh, the hype for Oven versus Sanji. I'm telling you, we are gonna get Oven versus Sanji, and I'm and Oda, you have restored my hypeness now for uh, Oven versus uh, versus Sanji because it is gonna happen because we already know we're getting the rematch between um, Luffy and Katakuri. That's gonna happen. Period. That's gonna happen. But, oh man, Oven versus Sanji is gonna be so good! Um, get out of my way, Fishman! Oh, shoot! Is it, are we gonna get Oven versus Sanji now? Hutsy hell! It's Oven! Not good! The sea is boiling up! It's too hot! I can't stay close! Mondor, the Queen Mama Chanta, Chanta is almost there. All oh, right, um, it made it in time. Fluffy Chomp Gulp, mmm. Fluffy Chomp Gulp, mmm. What, what is this? What is this dreamy taste? No, this is beyond my wildest dreams. I can't even, uh, I can't even find the words to describe it. What, what is this? What is this taste? It's a taste that would even make, uh, make a dead puppy dance into a dance. Oh my god. It's a pet cemetery. Woof, woof. What the fuck? Oh no, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? So sweet, so sweet, and milky, and milky, so velvety, so velvety. This is the most fucked up musical I've ever seen in my goddamn life. And I've seen some fucked up shit. And risky. Like, this is some shit I'd see in, like, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And you know what? I'm gonna say in Genge no Kitaro. I will, I could see this in Genge no Kitaro, and I could see this in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. More, actually, more Genge no Kitaro than JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And for those that are curious, I binge read the fuck out of Genge no Kitaro manga. Oh my god. The anime is gonna be so fucking good. If, if I'm indicating it by that manga... But this is some shit, I'm telling you, this is some shit out of Gege no Kitaro. And, and risky. Ship, ship. Look, that's right. This kind of ruckus is like when a bomb is thrown into an amusement park. In my stomach, a big ceremony. And I, 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 I'm just like making this, sh making up this tune as I go. Cause, so, but god damn, this shit is insane. No. Oh no, that's the German bullets! Oh, the anti German bullets! No! No, does that mean? Hey, mother, can you feel it? This overflowing, blissful sweetness? No! No! That's right! No! 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 I am not going to accept Rachel. No! 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 No, Oda, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna, no. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna finish this and then I, I, I'm gonna wait and see. That's right. It's the taste of the happiness back then. I'm um, sorry. It's the taste of the happiness from back then. Happy birthday, Lin Lin. Let's eat again together someday. The sweet, the sweet. And milky and, and milky and velvety and velvety. And risky, Kiha. 
Hey, Mother, I can definitely do it, right? Create a peaceful world where everyone's happy? A place where no race is rejected? Although, if you try to leave, I'll kill you. Um, although if you try to leave, I'll kill you. Um, a deal with the devil in the peaceful total land where everyone is family and ruled by the kind queen. Um, big Ma- Sorry, I want to redo that because, like, it- I, I, The stanza- How I was saying it, the, it fucked up the stanza. A deal with the devil in the peaceful land, uh, in the pe- Ah, fuck. A deal with the devil in the peaceful total land where everyone is family and ruled by the qu kind queen, Big Mom. There we go. <sighs> oh, my God. Ha. M mama, oh, Mama, mm, that was delicious. Thank you for the meal. This is truly a nightmare. What? <gasps> digest this so the sunny has got to be sunk it's got to be sunk it's got to be fucking sunk the drama i don't know I, are the drama dead And then there's Judge. Do you, I, I have to, do you guys think that the Judge and the, and the germ are dead? First, first of all, I gotta ask, do you guys think the Judge and the germ are dead? Because it was said earlier about the, um, the anti uh, germ bullets and you have this line here. Uh, create a peaceful world where everyone's happy. And the drama were definitely not for a peaceful world. But I want, I, I gotta say this, first of all. Oh, and there's the, oh, there's the, there's the drama. The drama, oh man, yeah. I think the drama, I think the drama are gone. They're either dead or they fucking escaped into the sea. But I'm so, con I'm just like, I'm trying to figure out Judge though. If Judge is dead or not. Because Oda is just really making this ambiguous. Unless, by the way, One Piece is going to be gone, is going to be done for, is on, not done, on break for a week. But, ooh, I'm just trying to figure it out. If 
because there's it looks like there's a battle going on and so yeah the judges so the judges ship is burnt down that for sure is burnt down and that's probably what they were look maybe i'm wrong about the sunny and that and the ship they were looking at was and the ship that you know they were pointing at was the judges ship and the judges ship sank and it not the sunny maybe i'm i got confused with that i'm i'm very curious what you guys think in regards to that the other thing is i i want to call i gotta give props to oda this chapter was like was so cool artistically i'm gonna talk uh, i'm not talking about like just content wise and like uh um story wise um i'm talking about like artistically it was very very creative because you have like this parallel or like it's very ironic because you have these these um happy lyrics going on with big mom and at the same time you have all this death and all this shit going on here and it reminds you of big mom's backstory and it kind of makes you think about uh about this delusion um illusion or delusion that linlin's in at the same time because remember she believed remember what the truth was about big mom big or not big mom um uh mom's or uh, hold on a second uh where is it uh mother's uh dark secret like what or what she really was doing was selling the kids into slavery remember that remember that was her true what she was her dark secret so you gotta love what oda's doing here i really gotta give mad props to oda for this chapter this was a dark dark chapter and just oh it's just giving me goosebumps oh my god um, and I love, I love that the title is called Bad End Musical. Now that I'm thinking about, I, I understand what you're, I, I understand what you mean now. Oh, yeah, I understand. Oh, Oda, you are, you sneaky little motherfucker. I love it, Oda Senpai. Oh, my God. But, um, what was the other thing I want to say? The other thing I want to mention, um, that i really like about because uh, about this arc in general especially and i want to get to in regards to like sanji and it's, that's really apparent in this chapter is that you gotta see the inspiration from shokugeki no soma in this chapter i really really love it it's freaking fantastic and um and i just i, I love it and it's just making me I've never thought of Sanji like a Soma character, like Soma before. I've never thought of him like that, or uh, Jochiro, uh, Saiba. I've never thought of him like that. And it makes me hope that Shueisa gives, gives us a Shoku Geki no Soma One Piece crossover. It just needs to happen at some point, because it would be really, really fucking cool. Um, there's one other thing I want to mention here, but I just can't remember off the top of my head. Just give me a second. I think what I really like the most about this, about what Oda's doing right now, is that instead of, and I think Oda's doing what, um, so kind of like what Sirachi's doing with Gintama. Because, in, in a way, which is making fun of like a happy ending kind of arc kind of thing here. Which is, we, we're going, like, it started out like with a happy ending kind of thing, everything is going very well, and then the way, um, Oh, then similar to what uh, Sirachi is doing in Gintama, making fun of happy endings. Instead, of, uh, Oda decided to just totally debate us and say, you know what? It ain't gonna be that easy. You ain't gonna get out of here just like that, even though Mama's appeased. Fuck you. You ain't gonna be able to leave. And it even says in um the lyrics as well. Uh, here too. Um, where is it? Um, shit. I, I, oh man. Like, I love, uh, the parallel, how, how like, how the different image, and this is what I mean by the artistic nature, like how... You see how mom, big mom begins to sing and um, it shows the soldiers going into war and um, 
How, how she, it's, it's a taste that could even make a dead puppy break into dance. And, um, you, and, uh, and it just go, it's a pet cemetery and it's just so goddamn creepy. And like, and through the imagery, it like goes back to the, and compares it to like what, um, goes, it's, is happening, uh, on the sea. And it's just, it's just so cool. I really got to give mad props to, um, to Oda on this one. This was really, really, really nice. Um, but anyway, I really am curious what your guys' thoughts are on this chapter. Um, I really gotta say, I think probably the best, um, uh, here, this is the one that, the line that I was, uh, referring to. Um, uh, create a peaceful world where everyone's happy, a place where no race is rejected. Although if you try to leave, I'll kill you. See what I mean? She ain't making it easy. A deal with the devil in the peaceful total land where everyone is family and ruled by the kind queen. Kind queen. Ha. <laughs> and, um, and, like, like, as the ship is being sunk, you gotta think of it as, like, it's just another soul, um, or another, um, crew, uh, or another victory to the Yonko Queen. You, you know what I mean? Um, but anyway... I'm very curious what you guys thought of this chapter. I think this is probably one of the most creative and artistic chapters of One Piece I have ever read. I got to give major prop again. I'm giving major props to Oda. I hope I really love when manga. It's kind of you know what I'm gonna call. This is like probably something I would I would expect like out of a manga like March comes in like a lion. So uh, and you know what I even out of like a Yamushi Petal as well to be honest. So. I'm very, very, I can't wait to see what the anime, One Piece anime does with this. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, what you guys saw this chapter, and what do you guys think happened? Do you guys think the germ are, are dead? Do you think um, the sunny is completely, the sunny is sunk? Like, what do you guys think hap is, uh, happened? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to um, my, uh, uh, channel, uh, if you want to contribute to my channel expansion, there's a few ways you can do that. You can donate to my PayPal, GoFundMe, Patreon, or purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, um, Facebook, and friend me on PlayStation Network. All that's in the description box below as well. And until next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later.